Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here we are. It is Thursday night. Yeah, we have my buddy Max here. <laughs> He's always with me, whether I'm cooking, cleaning. He's my buddy. He's my pal. I was dreaming of having an animal that would be with me everywhere I went, and that is the animal that God gave. Um, so anyway, what is up? So I am making dinner now. Um, I have to admit, like cooking is not, I don't really enjoy cooking that much. I really just don't. But, you know, I'm not, we, I'm trying to get better at recipes and making different things and reach out. But let me just tell you, the last two weeks, especially like the last week, I would say we ate out every day. Every day. Now, I don't want to complain because it is a blessing to eat out, to go to nice restaurants, and my husband works hard for us to go out and enjoy nice restaurants. I'll just tell you where we've been lately. We've been to Teddy Jack's. We've been to Logan's. We've been to Hibachi Place. We've been to McDonald's. Not my favorite. That's my husband's choice. Um, where else did we go? There was a pizza place. So there's pizza. Oh, it's Domino's. Yeah, so we've just been eating out. There's been bur my dad's birthday and stuff like that. But I was just, I felt, and then yesterday, it was the kids' first day of school, and I mean, I'll admit it, I kind of wanted a treat too, so I said, do y'all want, it is the first day of school, do y'all want a Dairy Queen? So we all, we all went and got a blizzard, and I didn't show that part on my video, my last video, but we did get all that good stuff, and we got, I felt so sick, like I had a large strawberry shake, the shake was good, don't get me wrong, I love my shakes. Um, by the way, my flowers are dying, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but I just, it's too much sugar. It's just like, it's after a while, if you eat out too much, or for me personally, I just feel so sick. I feel so disgusting. I just feel so gross. And I need to be eating food at home. I need to be eating more fruit. And I'm getting bloated and bigger. And you know that week I was sick with the C word? Um, I lost f about almost five pounds. Well, I lost four pounds. Um, and then quickly gained it back by just going out, eating out every day, lunch, dinner, lunch, dinner. And I don't want to complain because some people can't eat out, you know, some people just can't. And I don't want to sit here and complain about it. But on the other hand, like I need to get back on track. So tonight I am making spaghetti. Um, but like I said, like my mom really enjoyed cooking uh, growing up. Um, she always cooked really good meals. And uh, yeah, even if you didn't like it, you ate what she made because that's just the gist of it. So I'm trying to stick to that too. And yeah, I'm making spaghetti. Like I said, finally, we're eating at home. And um, since we ate out so much, I have like extra ground beef and stuff. So I can, I, ha I have stuff I can make. Um, I'm going to get my spaghetti sauce. Um, but I am out of salad. I do love to have salad. I love to have salad. I have well, almost always have to have salad with spaghetti, but we're out, or I think it's gone bad. So it's just spaghetti and like bread tonight. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, and then later, I thought I would declutter because we have the remodeling guy coming tomorrow. And he's either going to start on our sink or the cabinets, but I'm not sure which one, but. Um, I've got to get like everything out of my cabinets and I'm going to be decluttering. So I thought I would have y'all join me or be here with me for that. Or if you need the motivation, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, make sure and hit the subscribe button and like button. And I'm sorry. Oh, anyway, did I tell you? So the, we're eating the spaghetti sauce for tonight is Bertoli five cheese. We, switch, we don't tend to, we don't stick to one certain spaghetti sauce. We, 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 we switch it up. Um, my girls are not really a fan of the ragu, though, so we try to stay away from that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I was not going to vlog because I have vlogged the last three days and put up a video. And even though I enjoy it, I enjoy sharing my life and you know, um, and, and, and being, you know, having friends and stuff and being online. But there are points where I just get sick of myself and I get sick of just like constantly, not the uploading part, but the filming and, you know, and plus you got, I got kids to take care of and then there's chores and there's laundry. So, I mean, there's other parts of my life, but then this is what happens. I'll start watching YouTube uh, and I'll watch somebody else's video. 
I watched Marissa Marie. Let me know if y'all follow her. She is like 24, 25 years old. She lives here in Texas. She has almost 100,000 subscribers and she does like very girly videos like shop with me. She does vlog. I love her vlogs. I wish she did more vlogs. She does some day in the life vlogs. I think the video she just put out today was her vanity tour of her vanity. So I need to catch up on that one. But um, yeah, I started following her on Instagram. Her name is Marissa Marie. I've talked about her before, but I saw her vlogging uh, doing a day in the life and I just thought, you know what, let me pick up my, my, my phone, my camera and just start letting you know what's going on and letting you know that I've been feeling sick from eating out so much. I just feel sick. Um, just like a bubbly stomach and bloated stomach and I just, I think if I ate at home more then the bloatiness and gassiness will go down. Hey, so we just finished a spaghetti. Um, Abigail's got to load the dishwasher, but before I get started, oh my gosh, y'all, is that spaghetti on my chin? It is. Well, if it's not on your face, is it really good? <laughs> Did you really enjoy it? Um, yeah, messy me. Anyway, we, Penelope told me that she needs more breakfast foods. Usually they eat breakfast at school because uh, they do serve it, but sometimes her bus doesn't get there in time. Um, they get there late, so she's not able to grab um, breakfast, and her school is very demanding, so she needs a good breakfast. Uh, so she wanted to run to Dollar General or uh, Family Dollar to get like some little, those little mini boxes of cereal, so she can have something in her system in case, uh, in case that she gets there late to the school on the bus. So we're gonna go check out Family Dollar. I do wanna let y'all know I was at Family Dollar the other day. Now I'm usually a Dollar General girl. I actually live in between a, a Dollar General and a Family Dollar. And I usually would go for the Dollar General, but I did go into Family Dollar the other day and I was so shocked. They were like really stocked. They had a bunch of fall stuff out. Now, I am not decorating this year because um, we're remodeling, but y'all, go check out Family Dollar. Now, I know Dollar General has some cute fall stuff too, but don't forget about Family Dollar. Um, they can be good too. Okay, guys, I am in Family Dollar right now just looking around. I really like this shirt right set there that says, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Um, so I just always like to look around. Here is the fall stuff. I thought that Hello Fall sign was really cute. This table runner, I think I have a table runner like that. Um, I'm just falling in love with everything I'm seeing and getting so excited. Um, so I do end up getting a few things. So stay tuned um, because I will be showing you. And I think some of these frames are so cute. Y'all, this is only $5, this little frame right here. Um, very girly. You can put it in your bedroom or bathroom. Did someone put cleaners here? So cute. I love both of those frames. Hey, everybody. So we are back. We went to Family Dollar and Dollar General. And I got something from each of the stores. I couldn't help it. The fall is all around us. So, okay, first I'll show you from Dollar General. Um, I know I said I wasn't decorating, but I may decorate my room for fall. Um, and I thought this was just so pretty. Because my room, if you've seen it, it's very like pink and girly. And so I saw this very pretty floral with the white pumpkins. And it's got this pretty beading with the pink ribbon and i thought i would put maybe go to dollar tree or something and get feathers that's like pink feathers or garland or maybe even orange and you know put it in in here in this vase so that was five bucks at dollar general so pretty y'all and from family dollar i got a candle i wasn't intending i don't know how candles are at the family dollar i asked the lady um if they're good um but i don't know but it smells really good so i'm hoping since it smells so strong that when you light it it will be 
But I think I'm going to light it tonight when I do my um, decluttering because I want it to start showing up. So it's called Pumpkin Waffles. Look how pretty. And I wish we had smell a vision so y'all could smell it. Mm, it smells so good. That's what it what looks smell like. Vision? Mm, baby? I'm saying I wish I had smell vision means I wish that that my friends that are watching this video could smell it like they could just press a button and smell what I'm smelling so check this out at family dollar I'll let y'all know if it's a good candle or not but I think I'm gonna light it tonight and then Penelope did not find the little cereals she was wanting but she got these Quaker chewy chocolate chip granolas from family dollar and from Dollar General, she got these Lucky Charm treat bars. Those look good. Do you like these, Abigail? Yeah. And then in the parking lot, we found a ring, like a kid. It looks like a kid's ring. Um, um, so I'll just show you. We found this, and it's kind of bent, but like, look how pretty this ring is. It's like a little tiara. And I was like, it fits Abigail perfectly. It's kind of a little bent. But we found that in the parking lot, y'all. so pretty. No, it's not that bad. It's, it's so pretty. But it fits Abigail perfectly. As my husband got me these roses about a week ago. And as you can tell, they're pretty much dead. So um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these out. Um, I was proud of my cats because they didn't get, get into the flowers as bad as they did last time. Okay guys, the kids are in bed. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my cabinets. Now, you're probably not gonna think that this is really much dishes. Um, I really, to be honest, I don't really have that much to declutter because a couple of years ago after, years ago after my mom passed away, um, I did go through and declutter and, you know, got rid of a lot of uh, dishes. Just there were too many here and I just kept some. So, like for instance, this, like that's all there is. So, like these cactus cups, I won't keep those. There's no point in me having those. Just keep a few basic ones. We're actually going to buy new dishes, a set of dishes, when, after we get the, the new cabinet. So, everything's going to be fresh. There may be a few old cups, but almost everything's going to be new. And like right here... There's just not that much to declutter. Now, the big thing that I have to declutter is my coffee. And if y'all been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I am a love my coffee and coffee drinker. And I, that's one thing I do collect is coffee cup mugs. Do I still have ketchup? Oh, no. Okay. Anyway, um, so I think I may get rid of a few coffee cups, but I can't promise that it's going to be a lot. But... These are all my coffee mugs. That is the thing that I have trouble on. To some people, this is normal. This is normal like me. And to some people, this is a lot of coffee mugs. Um, growing up, my, my parents had quite a collection, not quite this many, but my parents did have a good collection of coffee mugs. And um, I think I'll go through here and declutter those. So yeah, if you need to get rid of something, get rid of it with me.
Okay, look who's down here. Okay, I'm going to show you the progress we've made. So, there were a few coffee mugs up here. This is all empty now. So, I'll go ahead and close that. Oh, my gosh. I emptied this. I didn't film this, but I emptied all this that had some glass glassware in there. And then, I took all my coffee mugs off of these three shelves that you saw. And this black part right here is from these liners that I had that were quite sticky. So uh, I guess it's okay because those are going to get painted anyway. But that's, that's what that is, if you're wondering. So all these coffee mugs right here and a few cups from right there, I am keeping. I know it still looks like a lot, but I just cannot part with these. Um, yes, I have to have them. I have to. But I did, I still think I did pretty good on what I'm giving up. So I went through all of this. This is all the stuff I'm going to be giving away, either giving away or throwing away. And I did give some coffee mugs away. Uh, this Mickey, it's cute, but it's like really, like it's kind of too small. I drink out of bigger mugs. This one was from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to say goodbye to the, it's cute, it's got a pickup truck, but I'm going to say goodbye. This is a coffee mug I got from my dentist, actually, um, for free, but I don't want it. Um, and these two Coca-Cola glasses, this is faded, these were from Goodwill. I used these for like, man, quite a few years, the last four or five years. Um, and I kind of didn't want to get rid of this, but I had a, I have a lot of Christmas mugs, so, um... And this one's really cute. I actually got this at TJ Maxx last year. But if you can tell, look closely, it has a crack. See the crack? And I was drinking coffee out of it last year, and I just bought it. And my coffee started coming out of the mug. And so I was like, oh, no. So probably just had to throw this away because nobody it's going gonna, it's gonna to do that with somebody else. And I said, I'm saying goodbye to this owl one and this gnome one. I know they're really cute to look at, but they're not really, like, easy to drink out of. And then we have these, like, champagne glasses, cactus. So I'm saying goodbye to all of this, and I'm going to put this um, in its own container so I can take this stuff to Goodwill. So I do have... This left, which you can tell there's not much dishes. There's my waffle maker and a few dishes. I don't know if I'll do that tonight. We may have a part two and do that tomorrow. And then we do keep our food right here, our little pantry. We do have another pantry already, but um, I'm gonna have to get all this stuff down too. But I think I'm just gonna tell the guy to start, obviously start over here, so. Hey guys, it's kind of starting to get dark now. It's almost seven o'clock, it's Friday. Did I mention it's Friday? TGIF. The girls are happy to be off for the weekend already. We just did three days of school and now we're going to have the weekend. Um, so I just wanted to fill you in. Our remodeling guy, Terry, he's, he's, he's really great. We love talking with him. Um, we, he, we came and just, he came over and we discussed some stuff and we feel, I had told y'all before we were going to start with the cabinets, but we all talked about it and he said that we should start with paint first. So, my husband said it's up to me. I get to choose. He's not big on colors or whatever. I get to choose. So I'm going to be going to Home Depot this weekend. I think I have a color in mind what I want to do. So, if you can tell um, back here in the background, I'm going to have one color on top. And then there's that white, um, I don't even know what you call that. Keep that white and then I'll have one color below that. So I'll have like two tones in here. So yeah, I'm, I'm not used to designing rooms or anything. You, I mean, cause all in the other rooms, we just did white all over. But I think I am gonna do a different color in here. And I was thinking to ask y'all about y'all's opinions. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna do my own thing. And then you can see the after what it's like so yeah that's where we're at now um the cabinets can wait a little the cabinets can go a little further behind so we're going to start with painting first it's all up to me i gotta decide the colors so anyway i will be giving y'all updates along the way when, when, when we start with the painting I'll, 
um, show you before and afters and stuff like that whenever that happens. But like, yeah, the first step is me going to Home Depot, um, which is not my favorite place, but I think it'll be fun to pick out paint and stuff like that and see like what I really want to do. It'll be really nice when it's done. Um, I was hoping that the remodeling would be done by December, but with so many things that we've got to do, um, it may not be, it may not be until next year. Um, so, <laughs> Remember when I said that I wasn't going to decorate because we're remodeling? Well, I mean, that's kind of true. I'm not going to do the living room or kitchen. Um, but, you know, I just, I have to decorate somehow. I just like there's fault. So, I think what I'm going to decorate is my porch. I'm going to make it really cute fall festive porch. And my bedroom, probably pink and girly pumpkins. And maybe I will decorate my bathroom too. It just gives me such happiness to decorate. So I, I just can't say no. I just can't. I have to decorate something. So I went back to Family Dollar today and I got a few more fall things and I thought I would show y'all. Um, Family Dollar for the win. So I picked up these washcloths and let's see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. Well, it says six. I didn't have to count for a doll, uh, for five dollars. So it's got the design, a little pumpkin. I think this would be cute, like in a basket or something. Yes, very cute. I love that. I know, I know maybe they're not the highest quality washcloths because they're from Family Dollar, but they're cute. They'll do. So yeah, I got that. And I picked up these uh, napkins that say, Be Thankful. So there's 18 of these and they were a dollar. Oh, I picked up I picked up some floss. Uh yeah, that's not fall, obviously. And then I thought this was cute. Now I think I'm gonna give this to a friend because she loves pickups like me. But I thought this was really cute. So it's a little kitchen towel and it says, Welcome to the patch. How pretty. I'm kind of getting a close up. So for two dollars. And I got a couple of more things. Oh, my cats are interested. So I think I'm going to be hanging this on my front door. It's so cute. So it's this thing and it says welcome. And they had it in a few different colors. They had this in like black and blue. But my door is a bright blue color. My front door to my house. So I thought that this would go good with the bright blue door. Very pretty, and I definitely wanted something with orange because I'm gonna be, you know, putting orange everywhere on my porch. So that was five bucks. I thought that was a pretty good price, but I did have to pick through them because some of them, some of this stuff was messed up. Okay, and then one other thing, I'm not sure if I'm putting this outside or in the bathroom, but I just love the colors, and it's this like hanging decor. I love that color. I just love that. So that was five bucks. So pretty good prices there. And another thing I wanna get is one of those like big tall wooden signs that say like Hello Fall or something like that. And they had a few of them there, but like I was gonna get this one that was really pretty is like blingy orange and it said Hello Fall or Welcome or one of those. But it had like some scratches on top and I was like, I'm real particular with my stuff. So anywho, anyway, look for a future Decorate the front porch with me. That's going to be a very fun video. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so I better clean up the kitchen. So the kitchen's a mess. We had we had pizza tonight. We had Red Baron pizza. Um, I'm going to um, just tidy up in here. And yeah, I am excited. I always say I'm excited, but I really am. Um... And I, so I didn't vlog much today. Today's Friday. But maybe I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow and then I'll put this video up Sunday. And, oh, we're going to watch 10 Ways, How to Lose a Guy in 10, 10 Days. I think that's what it's called. With, um, what is that guy's name? He's from Texas. Oh, Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I have that movie and my, my daughter Penelope has never seen it and wants to see it, so... I will see y'all later. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday, 
and I really just haven't vlogged today. It's a rainy weekend. We've really been needing the rain, um, so it's raining like it's supposed to rain all weekend. So we're just enjoying it, having a lazy weekend, watching movies together, <sighs> and yeah. I will, so we went to Mardell's. I was really wanting to go to Mardell's to find some new Christian movies. Well, they're not really new, but they're movies that I haven't seen. And Abigail and I are about to watch this one. The Incredible True Story of Bethany Hamilton, The Soul Surfer. And I know this came out a long time ago, but we have never seen it. Um, it's got Anna Sophia Robb in it, Carrie Underwood, Dennis Quay. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but well, we really want to see it. And another movie I've been wanting to see was the movie about Rachel Scott. So Rachel Scott is the girl that got, she was the first person to get killed in the Columbine attacks. And there was a movie made about her called I'm Not Ashamed. So I found this, this is a three pack movie. And um, I have seen the movie, Do You Believe? But I haven't seen The Case for Christ and I haven't seen I'm Not Ashamed. So, um, and I've heard the reviews on um, the Rachel Scott movie is not very good. It didn't do very good in the theaters, but that's okay. I still want to see it because I really was moved by her and her life and how she stood up for Christ and, you know, just lived, lived, wasn't afraid to show she stood up for Christ. So I really want to, we're going to watch that. And they were having a really big sale at Mardell's too. They had like some fall shirts with pumpkins, pickup trucks. I almost bought myself one, but I stopped myself. And y'all, we just bought these King's Hawaiian rolls yesterday from the grocery store. There's only like six left. They'll be gone. They'll be gone by tomorrow morning probably. Um, okay, and then, I'm, and then another reason I went out was to get coffee creamer because... Um, when I had my coffee today, I realized that I wouldn't have enough creamer for in the morning, and I, I just couldn't deal with that. So I picked up this French vanilla coffee creamer. I think when it comes uh, in a few weeks in September, I may go to hazelnut, that's usually what I do, or pumpkin spice for the fall season. But um, eight times, nine times out of 10, I'm just drinking French vanilla creamer. So yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry I don't look good. Thank you for watching this, hanging out with me, and I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure and give this video a like. Bye. Bye.